Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the operation of a Hermley LabNet Z206A benchtop centrifuge. This unit's in excellent condition. Um, just picked it up. As you can see inside and out, very clean. And we'll do a quick little demonstration of how it operates. Uh, it, this particular one comes with a stainless steel rotor for 50 milliliter conical tubes so we can install the rotor um, it has six conical tube inserts and this takes standard 50 milliliter tubes so you can see how that drops in and for the purposes of its demonstration we'll just put in a couple of um, 50 milliliter tubes we'll balance them out for the running a trial okay close the lid take a quick look at the settings here we'll go ahead and just set the speed down a little bit we're only going to run this for um, we'll set it at like 2200 we'll set the acceleration down decel And we'll just set the time way down. We'll just run it for like 30 seconds. Um, we're all set. So we can go ahead and start it up. Unit will spin up to speed. Uh, the, the timer doesn't start on this until it hits its uh, speed. And once it does, then you'll see that it will start a countdown on the timer. Um, it's quiet unit. Runs great. You can get a variety of different... Uh, rotors for it. The rotor comes with, as I said, is a is for 50 milliliter tubes. It's got a maximum speed of 6,000 RPM, um, but it's pretty handy. Quiet little benchtop unit, and in six seconds, we're going to see it shut itself down. Okay, it's done with a spin. It's going to begin its deceleration cycle now. And you'll see it slow down. Perhaps setting it four is a little bit slow. Um, so it's not breaking as fast as it can, obviously. But other than that, if you have any questions about how it works or you want us any more information, please don't hesitate to drop us an email. Uh, and you can also see all the pictures listed next to this thing uh, for a, a detail, detailed look all the way around it. Okay, again... Thanks very much for your time, and uh, as soon as it ends here, we'll call it a day. And we're done. There you go. Thanks.